You know, I really did think that at least one of you two was going to offer me a challenge. The ex-defending champs and the record-setting team. But no, neither one of you could even make it to 7-0. and And so here I am, still all alone at the top without equal, looking down on you and wondering how you can even live with your own failure. We're six and one. You lost by four to the Pens on a three game losing streak. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You lost to the Ducks. Yeah, but we lost in overtime, which makes us just six oh and one. So still at least a point in every game. Oh, are we counting that as being undefeated now too? No, and you lost to the Leafs in regulation anyway. Now be gone. Yeah, okay. Dude, they're the Ducks. They just finished last season last in the league. Okay, and you got shut out. Well, at least the Pens still have Crosby, Malkin, Carlson, and you know, an NHL roster. And how many goals exactly did those three guys score on you? Well, one, but Malkin had an assist. And how many did you lose by? Four, but they're still a better team than the Ducks, and you know it. Yeah, well, at least Ducks can fly. What, what does that have to do with anything? Uh, well, penguins are birds too, and they can't. So what? Stop your quarreling, peasants. Listen to you arguing about whose loss was better. You make me sick. Oh, come on, get off your high horse. Just because you've beaten a few bad teams to start the season makes you so special. We defeated the team that kicked you out of the playoffs. Yeah, and so did we. Okay, and we defeated the Stars. Hey, he just called us good. You know, because you were using us as an example of a good win? Okay, I'm just gonna close this then. Sure, but didn't that one take you until OT to get the win? Didn't you require OT to beat the Sharks? Oh yeah, that's right, you almost lost to the Sharks! <laughs> you know what, forget about this. I'll be seeing you a week from Saturday anyway, and we can deal with this then. As for you, you'll probably just lose to another wildcard team in the first round anyway. Hey, that's uncalled for, and you know what? So did you last year. You know what? Why am I even dealing with this? I don't have to. See y'all later. Well, he seems a bit touchy. You can leave my presence now as well. Gladly. In fact, I've got a bottle of whiskey with my name on it. Our season's going perfectly too. From a certain point of view. Just please... Please keep Gary away from the lotto machine come May.